we started an internet exchange in 2001. And the first presentation I gave about that internet exchange was right Frog. And then there was a gentleman from Deutsche Telekom. I didn't know he was from Deutsche Telekom. He said, I live in Münster. It is stupid to start an internet exchange in Münster and connect it with uh, the Netherlands. There's absolutely no reason for that. There's nothing in Münster to connect it to. And I told him, well, I don't know who you are, but if you have Viper in Germany, maybe we can work together and bring it to a better place. There were 400 people in that room. Then they all laughed, and I had no idea why they laughed. But they had all tried to work together with Deutsche Telekom to get better and faster internet in Germany, or peer with Deutsche Telekom in Germany, and they refused. And this was the guy who always refused, so I got off stage and the head of the London Internet Exchange, then the largest internet exchange, said, well, that is how you reply to Deutsche Telekom. And, well, you know, and that's 20 years ago, 2001 Prague Right meeting. And it's like we hear, still hear the same story. I'm just happy that, you know, from that simple internet exchange in the Netherlands, also came things like Deutsche Glasfaser, the same people who sat on the door there, uh, or sat on the table there and discussed with us, started building Deutsche Glasfaser. So, you know, Deutsche Telekom helped start its own competition in the FTTH market, in part by stimulating us to do what we did. And um, that's fantastic. But people need good connections. They need fiber. And if incumbents are willing to build it, somebody else will. But it's never about the content. 